only had the one loss so far in his career of uh, 12 fights, but he's stopped eight of those 12. On the other hand, uh, Juan Garcia Martin. is 15, eight and three. Martin is uh, Juan Garcia. Martin is from Spain. And this is for the WBO Intercontinental Featherweight title. Судья и рефери международной категории по версиям WBA и ЕБУ представляет Францию, обслуживал чемпионаты Европы и мира, работает ответственным за питание в больнице, увлечение бокс, хорошие рестораны, вино. Любимое выражение – не понимаю. Мечта познакомиться с Майком Тайсоном. В красном углу ринга Хуан Гарсия Мартин. Ему 35 лет, чемпион Испании. Родился и живет в Тенерифе. Представляет промоутерскую компанию Тейд Бокс. Боксом занимается 17 лет. На профессиональном ринге 8. Провел 18 боев. В 15 выиграл 8 нокаутом. Мечтает стать чемпионом мира. Хуан Гарсия Мартин. В синем углу ринга Олег Ефимович. Украина. Юнион Боксинг Промоушен. Ему 26 лет. Мастер спорта международного класса. Чемпион Европы 97 -го года. Родился в Докучаевске, живет и тренируется в Донецке. Боксом занимается 16 лет. На профессиональном ринге 3 года. Провел 13 боев. Одержал 12 побед. 8 нокаутов. Олег Ефимович. Итак, бой за титул интерконтинентального чемпиона... Well, we're in the featherweight division, and this is, as uh, hopefully you just heard, for the WBO Intercontinental Featherweight title. Yefimovic is uh, boxing out the blue corner, and Martin on the red. So here we go, round one. Box! Atención la cabeza, por favor. Well, good solid shot coming in from Yefimovic. Certainly delivering the better, the better power. Good jab to the body, then hooked off that to the head again from Yefimovic. Stepping in nicely with his one two. Certainly, Yefimich is commanding the ring and uh, moving Martin around as he wants him. 
A good lead right hand through the middle. I mean, Martin came out um, delivering more shots, but I think he's been put in his place here by Jefimic. Left hand again from Jefimovic. For my money, I think the better work there came from Yefimovic. Uh, much more accurate with his shots and much more power in the shots that he landed. Certainly Martin uh, had his luck, but I'm convinced there was so much uh, in those shots. Yefimovic was delivering very solid shots on target, on range. So certainly I would give that first round to Martin. I uh, beg your pardon, to Yefimovic. If you're having uh, an age advantage, shall we say, uh, as being the younger years, he's 27 years of age, Pedro Martin's 34 years of age. Which in the featherweight division is getting on a bit, Oops. I've got to tell you, at 34 years of age. But still looking in remarkably good shape. <laughs> Ifimovic is still dominating the ring here, he's still uh, holding ground. Martin is having to do the work, his work around him. <laughs> Good combinations again from Yefimovic. He's very accurate. Much better work coming from Yefimovic at this point. Martin doesn't seem to have a great deal to offer back. Defense as well by Yefimovic. He covers up well. Not a lot of these shots getting through from Martin. Martin's got to find the gaps. He's got to look and try and find a way through that defense and score some shots because at the moment he, he, he's really not having much success. He's getting picked off all the time. Yefimovic tends to faint and then deliver his shots, and he's doing very well with that. When he delivers these two and three combinations, they're all counting, they're very accurate. Stop! That's the countdown, last ten seconds for round Bup. two. And clearly I've got 
Yefimovic winning that round as well. Stop! Wherever you're joining us from from around the world, you're live with us here in Ukraine. You're live with seconds out in Jalapo, and we're presently uh, just at the end of round two in a featherweight title fight, which is the WBO Intercontinental Featherweight title between Oleg Yefimovic and Juan Garcia Martin. Yefimovic from Russia and Martin from Spain. Certainly the first two rounds, as far as I'm concerned, have gone to Yefimovic. Much better work. More accurate and sustained work. Here we go, round three. That was a great series of shots from Yefimovic. This kid really is, uh, as I've said, very, very accurate with his deliveries, very strong looking. He's wasting nothing. He sees the, sees the spaces, finds the gaps, and he scores the shots. Well, you couldn't ask more from him than what he's doing at the moment. In complete control at the moment. I have to say, it's the first time I've seen uh, Yefimovic, and I'm, I'm very impressed with this uh, boy so far. Got a great natural ability out there, great movement. Close to showboating, just uh, half a minute or so ago, looking for the angles, he's looking to swivel off the front foot, round the side to create the right hand space that's required, deliver that. He really is... Uh, a very talented looking boxer to me. That's okay. Stop! It's the end of the third, and I've got him clearly winning all first three rounds. So a lot of work to do for Martin if he wants to make any impression. If you move it from the Ukraine, so uh, got the home crowd behind him here. What I like about this kid is not only has he got a, a, a great forward attacking motion, but he's got a very good defense as well, very, very tight. And Martin's finding it very difficult to get through with anything, anything that would count, that is, anyway. Be interesting to see how this goes, see whether he can maintain this. 
до последнего. And also holding a good defence, but I've got to say he's uh, unable to keep, unable, unable to keep Yefimovic at bay when he when, when he does put up an assault. And a good tactician, Yefimovic. He looks for every gap. And when a commitment is made by Martin, he, he's there to punish any any spaces that he leaves unopened. Counters again from Yefimovic. It really is one-way traffic at the moment. Stop! Box! Stop! No. Box! Switch to the body, Stop. and that hurt. Well, Three. Martin turned his back, Three. which uh, is not Yefimovic's fault. Five. But he was punished Six. for that. Seven. Eight. Whoa. Good. Great body shot. Let's see if he can capitalise on that. Stop. Yeah, he's One. got him again. Two. Same shot. Three. Four. Five. Stop. Stop there. That was a very, very professional first-class display by Yefimovic. It really, really was. Did a great job there for for the three and a half rounds or so that it lasted. He really did. He did nothing wrong that I could see. First time I've seen this kid, and I've got to tell you, I was very, very impressed with him. Very impressed. Yeah, je peux vous compter jusqu'à dix là. Cinq, c'était fini. Je see a replay of that. Certainly, once he saw his man was hurt, he knew exactly what to do, kept it controlled, went for the same shot again. Interestingly, that's the second uh, fight we've seen stopped on a body shot. Very impressed with Yefimovic. I'm, I'm sure he could cause a, a great deal of problem out there on the world scene, that's for sure. There's the body shot, that's the one that did the work, did the damage. And you can't blame Yefimovic for following up on that, he turned away, he should have dropped to a knee, but he, uh, he turned his back on Yefimovic, so Yefimovic was entitled to follow up. Follow up. And there's the second shot to the body, same place. And that was all too much for Martin, I'm afraid. Well, if you're just joining us, you've... Uh, just missed another stoppage there. We've had a great night of boxing so far. We've had stoppages in all three fights so far. Yuri, Yuri. 
And we've just been watching the WBO Intercontinental Featherweight title between Oleg Yefimovich from the Ukraine against Juan Garcia Martin from Spain. And that was a very, very solid performance by Yefimovich. It really was. First time I've seen him, and uh, I certainly think that, that Yefimovich has got a long way to go in this division. Very impressed with his, his whole performance there from start to finish.